Happy Christmas Eve! Today is December 24th and it is the last day of Vlogmas. I cannot believe we are here. I cannot believe this is it. It's the 24th and it's Christmas Eve. Arguably, possibly, my favourite day? Do I love Christmas Eve or Christmas Day more? I don't know. As you can see, I'm looking quite festive. I have spent the morning editing the last two vlogs into one this morning which again always takes longer than i think it's going to and then went out for a walk with my mum, which again ended up being longer than we were expecting because riley wanted to go further than we wanted um and now i've just come and i've put on the tiniest little bit of makeup like brows mascara a little bit of festive lip i've got on this festive like hoodie thing i was going to put on my christmas pajamas but then i realized i hadn't worn this yet and it's so cute it's got like little festive Christmas trucks on it. I don't know. I just thought it was cute and festive. So that's what I've put on today. But I do have my Christmas pajamas on, which don't match in the slightest bit. This is the situation we've got. We've got Christmas socks on. That's the situation. But we are now going to go and start all of the Christmas prepping. We're going to make a pecan pie, gluten-free pecan pie, a crap, what is it, a uh, something raspberry and hazelnut brownie with meringue on top, um, I'm going to look at what that is, uh, we've got to prep the mac and cheese, we're making it lobster mac and cheese this year, um, so we're going to prep that, I'm also starving because I only had a small bowl of cereal for breakfast and I'm now really hungry and want some lunch, so I'm gonna try and find something for lunch. I think for dinner tonight, we're just kind of doing, um, I'll be making probably just like a big charcuterie board, which is one of my favorite things of literally all time. You wanna make me happy, make me a charcuterie board and have like brie or camembert or daffinoise or something on it and you will win me over for life, pretty much. Um, a charcuterie board is the way to my heart. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I will be making that probably later this afternoon. Um, and yeah, we're just going to have a daily with Christmas music in the kitchen, baking, cooking, prepping as much as we possibly can for tomorrow so that we don't have to spend all day in the kitchen. I think we still have some presents to wrap. I know mum has dumped a bag here of things she wants me to wrap. So I'm going to do that a little bit later. I've got a few more presents for my mum that I need to wrap that arrived. And I'm still waiting on some. There are still things. I've got like a list of things I'm like waiting on. But like I still feel like there's more stuff that I'm forgetting about that hasn't arrived yet. But there are a few presents that have not arrived in time. Which is a little annoying. But what can you do? Um, postage is crazy at the moment. But yes, I think we're going to... FaceTime my brother a little later this afternoon because our Christmas Eve afternoon will be his Christmas Day morning. Um, I think we're going to surprise him and order him into his room a big nice iced coffee because I don't think he's been able to have a coffee the entire time he's been there. Um, so we're going to order him like a big nice iced coffee as a nice little morning Christmas Day surprise. Um, I think he gets a nice Christmas meal which will be good. Uh, and yeah we're going to FaceTime him check in on him and kind of spend the Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day morning for him with him. Um, we miss him. Sad that he's not here with us right now, but again, nothing we can do about it. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. That is the situation. That's where we're at. We're trying to feel festive today because it just, mum and I were saying on our walk, it just does not feel like Christmas, like in the slightest bit. My snow, I will show you in a second, has pretty much melted away. It is getting very dark and gloomy and I think it's about to rain and I think it's supposed to rain all afternoon all night and all day tomorrow which is just flipping fantastic exactly what we want for Christmas on a shitty year um but yeah so I did not get my wish of a white Christmas but at least we've had snow for the last week or so um so that's good at least, that counts for something. 
Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to head downstairs, grab a quick lunch of something, and then we're going to get prepping. I also remembered that I am like days, and I mean days behind in my advent calendar. I just had one before, but I hadn't. The last one I'd had was the 18th. That was last week, like the middle of last week. And I was already behind then. So I've got, I just had the 19th, which was a teddy bear. No, I just had, I had the 19th yesterday. I just had the 20th. So now I've got the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. And then I've done my advent calendar. I never like that they don't go to the 25th because like, for me, I want to count down until Christmas Day, so I want to open a chocolate on Christmas Day, but that's just never a thing. So, where are we up to? 21. It's a baby one. I'm not going to, oh, I'm not going to eat these all now, obviously, because I will feel sick. Um, little baby reindeer. Cute. I like don't want to open all of these right now. That means it's done. 22nd. These are all small ones. Little baby Christmas tree. 23rd. I think I'm going to save the 24th for tonight. 23rd. Mr. Santa Claus. And I think, I think I'm going to leave... Where is it? 24th for tonight, maybe. And we'll probably snack on those throughout the day. But um, tonight, my Christmas Eve tradition is um, that we watch the Polar Express. Um, so we're going to watch that and we might try and watch something else. My family doesn't love the Polar Express. Basically, I was born into a family who doesn't get overly excited for Christmas whereas I get over excited for Christmas and Christmas is like my time and I try to live it up to like the absolute fullest and so sometimes it feels like I'm living with Grinches so I just have to push them a little bit sometimes to enjoy themselves and to soak in all the Christmas festive feels and emotions so I pretty much force them to watch the Polar Express with me every year and they won't admit it but they actually love it um, so that is the movie of choice tonight, and we'll see what else is on. But I'm going to head downstairs now.
done most of the prep I think I think we're pretty much done we've done the lobster mac and cheese that's all ready to be put in the oven tomorrow we've made the brownie with the meringue topping that's all cooked and ready we've the pecan pies just in the oven now um, what else have we done I feel like we've done more than that I don't know we've been in the kitchen for a couple of hours everything's pretty much done um, I was gonna say it's quite warm outside, but it's not actually, it's getting colder. Um, but it has been warm enough that all my snow is gone. Um, so I just wanted to, I'm gonna wait till that's gone. Oh, the rain's about to come. It's like four o'clock and it hasn't really started to rain yet, but I can feel it coming now. But as I was saying, the warmer weather yesterday and today has meant that my snow is all gone now. So it's all pretty much green. All snow's gone. That was all covered in snow. Even like this morning, it was still covered in snow. It's all pretty much gone today. Um, the rain is about to come. So I'm glad I took you out right now. And the wind has been picking up all day. Apparently it's going to be super windy tonight. But look at my pond. Look how pretty and glassy and just like stunning that looks. Look at it. I don't know if it, we've never um, ice skated on it, just in case you were wondering, because I know I've had people ask me that before. Um, we've never ice skated on it before. We don't know how to tell if it's frozen enough or what. I mean, it looks pretty good now, but I wouldn't know. And it would be just my luck that I get on there and then fall and, and drown. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the situation. Where is she gone? She wants to go back in. It is starting to rain now. I think we're just going to maybe go and wrap some more presents now. Um, and maybe put on a Christmas movie. That's what I'm feeling. Here you go, babe. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm now up in my movie room. And I am going to sit up here and wrap some more presents and stuff while I have... A Christmas movie on TV. I have no idea what it is, but I'm really kind of just going to be rapping, so that's what I'm going to do now for a little bit.
napping. My back is killing me. Um, yeah, I had my back arched the whole time I was rapping for about an hour. And so my back is now killing me. But it is six, six o'clock. So I think it's just about time for me to go and make uh, the shakuri board, which I'm very, very excited about. And then we might, after we've had that, we might get on to watching some Christmas movies properly. I mean, I've just had it on the background, but properly. I also realized today that I haven't watched The Holiday yet this year. Um, and that's one of my favorites with Cameron Diaz and Jude Law, Kate Winslet. Um, great classic movie. So I realized I hadn't watched that this year either. Um, there's probably not a ton much else going on this Christmas Eve besides charcuterie board and eggnog and Christmas movies. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm going to end the vlog here. We watched the end of Christmas Eve night, watching of the Polar Express and the Holiday, two great classic movies that I love to watch around this time of year. I have made myself a little pumpkin spice hot chocolate with some whipped cream and I'm gonna drink this and then I'm going to get to editing this vlog so that I don't have to do any editing on Christmas day. Thank you guys so much for watching every single day of vlog Vlogmas with me. Um, I appreciate you all so much and it has been such a pleasure spending my holiday season with you all. I'm sorry if it, there wasn't a ton of stuff, but it was 2020, it was a rough year, it was an overwhelming year. 
Um, I hope you are all doing well and that I hope that you are spending either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day with those you love, whether that be in person, virtually or in spirit. Um, just remember to soak up all those small little happy moments. Don't take anything for granted. Love those around you, hug those around you um, and enjoy your day and your holiday period and have a great new year. I probably won't be back on here until the new year. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything for this month of December and Vlogmas. It means the world to me and I've had such a fun time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to hit that big red subscribe button. There is a crazy storm outside. So I'm going to go edit now. Bye guys. Merry Christmas.